welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw. If you're new here, then welcome. It's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing, guys, then thank you so much for coming back. I really do appreciate it. So grab yourselves a nice cup of tea and some snacks. We're going to get into the video. And if you're not subscribed, please hit the sub button. It's completely free to do so. Um, and if this is the sort of video you like, give it a thumbs up. Obviously, leave a comment if you want to. Just want to say thank you. <laughs> not sponsored, don't worry. This is an algae drink. I was going to say, get your drinks and snacks. Um, but I did want to say thank you to everyone that was so, so kind on my last video. So I said I wasn't feeling 100% myself. Um, and I'd done a little happy haul and little things that I'm going to do to make myself feel better. I have. And in an abundance, I've dyed my hair more of an autumnal tone. <laughs> And I'm just feeling more me than ever. So I'm going to get in now. This is a home bargains haul video that you all know because obviously you've seen on the, the farm now. But you're going to have to bear with me because I've arisen in myself. I feel like Rosie again. And now I'm just super hyper. I'm just feeling very, very good. So I'm going to get into my haul. There is something. Well, actually, you know, if you've seen the farm now, you're going to have a pretty good idea what I'm going to show you. Genuinely, I went in there and I was like, oh, is that real? Is that there? Oh, and I was just run over, went and got it, and I was, <laughs> and do you know what the annoying thing is? My home bargains has got lots of Halloween and Christmas stuff in it, and there was people going, oh no, Halloween at this time of year, and I'm like, oh I know, <laughs> big things in my trolley. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I love that lipstick on my teeth as well. It's fine. This is very early, by the way, I'm filming this. So please don't worry that I'm drunk. I'm just very hyper. I'm high on life. And my nails, I've been painting the hallway. I'm so high. I've painted them all the hallway. I've done all my panel in the living room and in the dining room. And I've lost three gel nails. So, because <laughs> someone will point that out. And that's fine. So let's get in anyway. <laughs> it's got that clear. Right. So the first things I got in there were some Halloween crackers. Why not in August? Um, so I've got this pack of Halloween crackers. You get, I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. You get six of these. Now, if you've been following my channel for a little while, you will know I like to celebrate special occasions with the kids. And because obviously they're getting a little bit older and trick-or-treating ain't what it was years ago, I tend to do like a little bit of trick-or-treating to the neighbours that deliberately do things. We've got some really nice neighbours that put up like, big scenes. And there's a lot of people that want to celebrate Halloween, but we don't obviously knock on every door like you did when you were younger. Only the people that have got pumpkins and stuff out. So you don't really get a long trick-or-treat session. So at home, what we like to do is a little Halloween party, a special little Halloween dinner, do some crafting and stuff like that. So I thought I'd get them some crackers. I thought these are really cute. These were £1.90. Um, and this is obviously home bargains and they all come with a party hat joke and a sticker and I just thought that was really cute and even if you're not really into the whole Halloween thing and you just you know want to do a bit of trick-or-treat and have these for your dinner I thought that'd be really really cute I've got those I got this little pumpkin bowl for a pound like a little pumpkin bowl cauldron shall I say looks perfect with me I think I definitely was a witch in a previous life and um, so I've got this little cauldron bucket now this is obviously meant to be collecting sweets or you could have this as decor I'm actually going to be doing a little um, hack on this as a little decor piece. I've seen it on Pinterest and it looks amazing. So basically people put clear Christmas baubles in this, like bubbles, to make it like it's a bubbling pot, and put fairy lights in it and it look, bubbles over the edge and then put a few little spiders on it. It looks like a bubbling cauldron. And if you have little flashing twinkly lights, it looks amazing. So I've got my uh, baubles on order from Amazon really cheaply and I've already got some little fairy lights that I can put in. And I'm going to be doing that as a little table centerpiece for Halloween. So I'll pick that up as well. It's not very, very big, but I put only a little display. Smaller the cauldron, the less ball balls you need. Then I also got this. Now, I don't drink, <laughs> but I thought this would be really cute to do like, um, like silly shots for the kids. So do like little like milkshake ones and stuff like that. Non-alcoholic, obviously, but just like really, really cute with the kids. Or we do ones that are like surprise shots. So I might put like a jelly sweet in the bottom of them or put hot sauce in one of them to do like a little game. Like so they get the bad shot. And um, so this is the Haunted House little shot selection. So it's got like a skeleton arm and it's got all these little shots on them. But each of the shots are coloured skeletons. Now they do do these in different colours. So they've got an orange little cups. They've got um, all the skeleton arms the same colour. And believe it or not, I think this is glow in the dark. It's got that kind of look to it, if that makes sense, that greeny undertone. Um, so this one ninety nine, and yeah, it's got five glasses. Please hand wash. They're not proper glass; they're plastic. But you can get these in purple, orange, green, or this black colour. So I just got the black. Thought it looked nice. My bubbling potion on the table. Look really cute. And as I say, I'm not super, super into Halloween. It's more autumn and decorating pumpkins, snuggle season, blankets. But when Halloween comes, we make a big 
day of it on Halloween. Um, then also, I do the kids a little box, put some little PJs in there so they can snuggle for autumn. They are like at the beginning of autumn, they'll get them. Um, but then I like to put like some little scary books in a basket so that through for August, for August? <laughs> this at the wrong time it's fine yeah for august i'm basically doing it for august i was anyway i was collecting all this stuff um no through october they can obviously have like scary books so like skinny bones and someone actually told me what that was the books the other day funny bones funny bones and lots of little spooky books that i got from the work so i just put them in a basket in the living room and they could just read them ones i feel like it just sets the mood of that cozy you know, it's so miserable outside it's just so nice and warm inside and snuggly and it gets them in the feeling of it um, and i like to have a little basket some treats and hot chocolates i like putting crafts in there so i got these now these were 3.99 and you get you paint your own characters so you get these little clay um ornaments so you've got a little cat a little vampire, a little pumpkin, and a little witch. And they come with one paintbrush and some little pet like paints here. Now, obviously, these are meant to be for one child to do, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them out individually, wrap them up in tissue paper. I've always got paint brushes and stuff on the go and paint anywhere like acrylic paints. I'm just gonna put a few pots on the table, a few paint brushes on the table, and wrap these in tissue paper and pop them individually into their box. Because if you buy them on their own, they're like $1.99, but $3.99 is gonna do all four children. And um, so I've got those as well. Then I got, sorry, should I do some like normal stuff? <laughs> In case someone's coming for normal stuff. So I got myself some my ironing board cover. Gary done ironing for once in his life. And he burnt the ironing board cover, so there was like a big yellow stain on it. And so, and it was a calf kitchen one. I washed it and it's just not coming out, but it looks like such an eyesore. It's like such a dirty brown stain on it. And um, so I needed a new ironing board cover. But after he ruined my calf kitchen one, couldn't justify getting another one. So I got this one from Home Bargain. But excuse me if I'm wrong, and it's only an ironing board cover. This looks really expensive and it feels like it's going to go with my decor. $3.99 and it's this lovely padded ironing board cover. So I've got this, it's like a sage green and grey kind of stripe. So I've got that, it's padded and I'm going to put that on my ironing board and say to Gary, be careful. <laughs> got that one. I did get a few little cleaning products as well because I did need some cleaning products. I got um, some Sephora. So I wear Alien Perfume and this actually smells like Alien Perfume and everyone that's sort of in my household, like Millie and the boys and Gary, they're like, that smells like your perfume. This is a cleaning product. So I got this, £2.79 and a little does go a long way. It's in the toilet or in my sink, kind of with the drains and stuff. And I don't use it very often because obviously I know this one isn't pet safe and I don't normally use it on the sides, but you dilute this down and this is perfect. Especially like in the garden toys and stuff when obviously they had like got it all out of the shed and it was all like sometimes when they're cold as well they get that little mouldy bits and that on the toys. Things like this is really good to clean that down and disinfect it. Um, and I also got my mould and mildew spray. Sorry, all the Halloween stuff is on it. This is amazing. Now, obviously, I'm not recommending doing this if you have got quartz worktops and marble worktops. Obviously, use it on an inconspicuous area first. I just found when we first got this worktop, we was told just use a magic eraser. Well, if you cook a curry or a chili or anything like that, it's got high spices, like very, very lots of colouring in it. It tends to stain the sides. And I was like, what am I going to get this out with? I tried every product going. Um, and then literally I had some of this in the bathroom and I sprayed a little bit on it. And obviously it is a um, chlorine based cleaner. So be careful of your clothes as well. I sprayed the tiniest amount on and it got rid of it completely. So this is just kind of my backup, but I do use it in the bathroom. I do need to redo the trim, the sealant on the shower because it is going a little bit mouldy, but that really does help keep it at bay. Um, right, sorry, we're back into Halloween. So I also got, now these I thought were fantastic. Now they had like the velvety plain kind of material ones as well as these, but these look glittery. These giant spiders, now they've got a big clip on them. Now I thought these would be really good to like, if you're not really going into Halloween sort of vibes, you know, just having these clipped into a wreath, just to add that little vibe would be really cute. These are 99p and they're huge, like the size of my face. And I've got quite a big face. <laughs> they're literally 99p. And like I say, they've got the more velvety ones. These glitter bits are shedding everywhere so they as much as they look beautiful maybe go for just the velvety ones but these are really nice i did get three of these because i'm planning on putting these um so i bought some fats um last year 
and I stuck them all around my mirror up the wall in the hallway. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wreath round the mirror this year, put bats cascading off it, and then I think I'm going to stick these in the wreath. Very last minute, just before Halloween, because like I say, I'm not into the spooky decor, I'm more into the autumn decor. On Halloween, I like to make it like ooh, 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 in the hallway, especially because obviously you open it and you see right in when all the trick or treaters come. Did you like my little? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> um, <laughs> Millie says she's laughing. Do you like that? Go on, you try it. Go on, try it. Do, no, okay, she won't do it. Do it, do it. Um, I also got some Hello Scream body glitter and face glitter. Now they had this in purple, green, black, and the pumpkin orange, but I thought I'm going to get some of this because. Why not? I'm going to put a little bit on just because it's it's fun. Do you know what? It's fun to just be. Yay! A lot of people were saying like, especially on Instagram, I was seeing when people were doing their autumn stuff, getting ready, they were like, please let it be summer. Now, as much as I agree with that also, like for instance, when I went into Home Bargains, there was Christmas stuff. I thought that is a little early. Let certain things come in first that's next in line. Like Obviously, some people like to decorate for autumn in September when it's the burr months. If you go onto Google, I know it's summer solstice, I think on the 22nd, isn't it, when it's technically autumn. But like I always say to Gary, no one goes, oh, it's not spring yet, on the very 1st of April. No, is it March? Yeah, March. No, December, January, February. Yeah, it's March. Lots of people are like, oh, it's spring now. They get the tulips and, they, you know, no one really cares. But I think because people really love summer and people really love autumn, there's that sort of like that bit where it overlaps. People get a little bit like, no, it's still summer. No, it's, I want it to be autumn. And it's like, I let everyone just be happy what they want to be. And do you know what? It's actually really fun. If you just divulge in yourself into just whatever makes you happy, it really does. Now, obviously... This is a channel where I will share stuff and you will have a look as well. So obviously I will show bits that you share, but this is a happiness of mine. So I'm sharing it with you guys too. And do you know what? I'm just basically reliving my teenage dreams. We're getting some glitter. They say not an MP. And I'll probably do some nice makeup on Halloween and just bits of glitter. I might put a little glittery pumpkin on my face as I open the door to the trick or treaters. Make it nice and fun. Um, Millie knows they get little the Halloween boxes now, so it doesn't matter if she sees. Um, but I just I did put in these little face masks for it. This makes me excited. Um, so I've got a witch one here. These are sheet masks. These were 99p each. Um, I've got a pumpkin one. And I've also got a skull one. But obviously, I don't put none in for Albert, but I have got him this little pumpkin on the front bubble bath for babies that I got him. But I will show that in because it's not from Home Bargains. I've been collecting now. <laughs> really sadly but they're all still in the shops because I've checked I've been collecting little autumn bits for like the last two months now putting them away um, and it's really frustrating because I was like I've got everything I need I don't need any more and then the shops just change everything they have and it's like okay maybe I do need that so I'm gonna do an ultimate autumn haul but I will do that in September to save the summer people I will I will do that so I've got that now lastly you are going to wet yourselves if you like autumn like me Oh, when I saw this, like I say, look, my cheeks are going red when I saw this. Millie, what was I like when I saw it? I did get two of them. Oh, I only shown one. I'm pretending that I am a little bit restrained, but I did get two. And um, these are to go either side of the front door. <laughs> I got these giant pumpkins. They are gorgeous, but they are Halloween slash autumn because I'm going to have them this way round in autumn. And then on Halloween night, I'm going to turn them round. And then it is light up time. You can't tell when it's dark. They really light up, right? It looks like me. Hey. Um, so I just thought this was so nice. £19. Now, I did actually get a big one in balloons. You know the ones that have all that beads in it that you go like that as a kid? Like they've got the elastic on it and they go like that. I got that, put elastic bands around it, done paper mache to try and make a giant pumpkin. Do you know what happened to it? Once I popped the balloon on the inside of it, and just flopped it was just too much weight if that makes sense it just did not work i tried to make the giant pumpkin and it weren't really pumpkin shaped it looked more of like a, a segmented orange once you've peeled it it didn't look great um so i did try and make it and it was very annoying because i really wanted large pumpkins and i knew i wasn't going to be able to have the paper mache ones outside the front either um 
So then I thought perhaps I could, you know, make a concrete one. I thought that'd be really heavy. So I've just really wanted one. The only website you'd get one was American ones. And I don't have the money to be shipping the massive pumpkins over for a thousand dollars. I don't have it. Um, so, and it's kind of needlessly in Gary's mind, not in mine, but you know, we, we need food for the month. Um, so when I saw these, even though they're like 20 pound each, I actually thought they are really well worth it. So I am gonna, however, if you have a little look, I feel like the stem could be better. I feel like they've not gone in hard enough with the darker sort of like bit. I feel like they've, it could look more expensive. So even though they are nice and orange and people might be like, Rosie, no, I am gonna be decorating these. I'm gonna be doing a video where I do a little Halloween craft video. I'm actually gonna film it now um, once I get off from this haul because I want to get it all done and prepared. I've got lots of things I want to make. I've got off cuts of wood where I made like a shelving unit in my bathroom to neaten that up and I've got a little off cuts of wood that I want to make things with. Um, so I'm going to get in on my craft zone now but I thought how cute was that to get that. So I've got two of those as well and I am going to decorate those. So this has been my home bargains haul guys. Like I say thank you so much as well for the lovely messages. I will aim to get back to you guys. It's just been hectic where it's obviously been the school holidays and in my spare time, as you've heard, I've been decorating and doing loads of like, bits DIY around the house. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I've been Rosie Henshaw. See you later. Take care. Bye.